When you have seen enough anime, you start to notice how certain studios have different types of shows they tend to do. Bones is all about cool action. Mappa does very unique shows. Trigger does, well, whatever they want. And then there is Kyoto Animation. At first glance, they may appear to just focus on slice of life. And well, this is kind of true. It's only part of the picture. But much more than that, their stories are about growing up. In light of the tragedy that befell them a couple weeks ago, I want to take a look at some of their shows and how they explore this very relatable and oftentimes very personal theme. Haruhi, Hioka, Chinibyu, and Suere all have a similar story structure. They are about a lonerish guy who is dragged into a club or activity that he doesn't really want to be part of, but over time he comes to accept and enjoy the activity and the people he meets through it. Many of these main characters see themselves as mature, not interested in silly things that those they meet are into. But over time, they learn to embrace these activities, seeing that while they might be childish, they are worthwhile. This is the point of the climax of the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, that Kion has a choice and chooses to accept all the fun times he had in the SOS Brigade with Haruhi instead of throwing it away for a normal life. And then one of the overarching plot lines is Hyoka is about Hotra going from someone who doesn't want to expend any more energy than he needs to, to someone who really cares about his friends and enjoys solving mysteries. And then Shinibu is about embracing childish fantasies even as kids grow into adults. The themes of the show are about enjoying the silly things in life and not being annoyed with the things you might consider to be immature and just take the time to have fun. Because fun things are fun. So of course, I have to talk about k -On here. When you think of plotless slice of life, no show would come to mind quicker than k -On. At its core, it's a show about the characters having fun. Though there is something more, and that is how the weight of the future is bearing down on them, especially during season two. Season two takes place during their final year of high school, and there's a constant feeling that their time together in the light music club will come to an end soon. Even while graduation seems like forever away, it's closer than they think. Through season two, we see the characters making the most of their time together, but also preparing for the future. There is a sadness here, because as close of friends as these characters are, they may hardly see each other after graduation. And that's the sadness of life changing and growing up. How many friends were you once super close to but you haven't talked to in years, or even thought about in years? Though, while this is indeed sad, the message of Kaon is to embrace the times we have with our friends, cherish the fun, the silly moments, eat cake, play music, and be smacked in the face with a wad of cash. That's what Kaon is trying to tell the viewer. And then there's Clanad. This Clanad takes this high school story a step further by showing a life outside of high school and all the challenges and tragedies it entails. Without getting into spoilers, it shows that adult life is not easy. There's a sort of bubble around anime characters in high school. But then Tomoya, as he grows up, sees how unforgiving the life of a grown-up can be. Jobs can be soul-sucking, and it can be hard to find a purpose. Then, as people grow up and get older, they see those around them die. Sometimes for no logical reason. And for me personally, it seems like a year doesn't go by without us losing someone in the family. And it sucks! But Clanad shows the importance of family. The people you love and care about become even more important than when you were in high school. Plus, in growing up, the relationships change. And honestly, there's a lot I could talk about playing out here, but I'll just leave it here because I want to avoid spoilers, though I'm sure you know what I mean. And then I want to bring up two of the studio's movies, A Silent Voice and Liz and the Bluebird. While there is a lot that these shows do, something they both have in common is how they show the character growing up and maturing and how they see themselves and each other. The movies show the characters understanding who they are in both the good and the bad traits. And by accepting who they are in both the good and the bad, they're able to better accept and understand others. And then the last show I want to talk about is free, which has some of the most interesting ideas explored, or at least compared to their other anime. While most of the shows I've talked about are either slice of life or drama, Free is a sports anime, and it gets into the idea of why the characters are playing the sport. The main character, Haru, swims because he enjoys the feeling of racing through water. But as he grows up, he's forced to ask himself why he swims. Is it just for fun? Is it to win races? Is it something he'll make a career out of? These questions weigh on him, and anyone who grows up having a chance to pursue their passion like that has to ask, what's the point of being the best if it steals the joy that he once had? And eventually Haru finds his answer, again with his friends, and through swimming is able to reconnect with old friends. 
All these shows are very different, but they do have a common thread that weaves between them. Growing up is hard and scary. There is not a set path for anyone, but it's important to embrace those around you in these seemingly insignificant moments. Hold on to your childlike wonder as you grow up, and when the world is too much to bear, cry in the arms of those you love. It is these messages that are at least part of the reason Kyoto Animation's works are so loved. You may not like everything that they have done, I certainly don't, but to honor those that we lost, I wanted to take a look at some of their works, and even though some people may have died, their works will continue to live on and will continue to touch people, and as artists, I don't think there can be a greater honor.